Events are still swirling in the aftermath of the UK's vote to leave the European Union. The focus in London and the focus is in Brussels. The big questions are what's next for Great Britain and the EU? Well, Ashley Webster joining us live in London. Hey, Ashley. Hey, good morning to you, Lauren. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? The second day that we've seen the markets essentially recover, but I would uh, probably call it an uneasy recovery. Uh, we know for sure that uh, many questions need to be answered with regard to the uh, UK's role in Europe from this point forward. I think the, the markets themselves are hoping that the UK will get access to that giant single market that is the European Union, the biggest market in uh, the world. So the question being is, what will the UK have to give up in order to get access to that market? The UK does not want free movement, uh, which is a requirement across borders. Um, and so there are many doubts as to whether the UK can get what it wants. And let us not forget the EU very worried itself that other member countries will want to drop out uh, based on what the UK gets in the deal. Uh, last night, big uh, protest was held, uh, began at Trafalgar Square in the center of the city and then marched on down to Parliament. Uh, it was initially cancelled, but people showed up anyway. I would say in excess of 1,000, maybe 1,500 people, all pro-EU demonstrators, very upset. There was all sorts of uh, signs up there, most of which I cannot describe to you because they're not fit for television. Uh, but there were things like, you know, leaders, not liars. Uh, lots of pictures of Boris uh, Johnson and Nigel Farage taking a lot of their anger. And there were lawmakers who came out and said, we will not give up the fight. We are European. But the chances, guys, of a second uh, referendum, even though people keep talking about it, are very slim in Indeed. And Scotland, too, continues to say, hey, England dragged us into this. We don't want any part of it. We want to stay in the EU. But I think all of those arguments are going to go nowhere. And uh, more importantly, who is going to lead the political parties here? That's the bigger issue as we stand. Back right, to you. right, Ashley. And, and, you know, what are some options for Great Britain at this point? Is there a deal that they can work out? I mean, the message the EU is sending is there's no free lunch. And there's also NAFTA. There's a lot of talk about NAFTA, hey. too. There are, well, that's very true. Uh, I mean, I guess anything is up for debate. The, the biggest important thing for the UK is it want access to that single market. A lot of UK companies export to Europe. Uh, but what are they going to have to give up? What, what, what are the, uh, I think the big thing is immigration. Um, they do not want free movement in this country. They want the ability to control the borders more. But I don't think if they take that tact, that they are going to be able to get that access to the market. Uh, they will be able to, to strike trade deals with uh, countries uh, and emerging markets, which they're not able to do now under EU rules. But you know what? It's in the devil's in the details, and not until we know what those details are will uh, we get a better sense of where this economy and how is it going to function in the world outside of the European Union. So many questions remain. Ashley, thank you.